Good morning, everybody. We are putting some cows out to grass this morning. Now they have already, they've been on grass this whole summer so far, uh, but we're just moving past here because we had a super dry winter. And so uh, there's not as much grass out here like there usually is. And so we're moving past here and we're unloading them right now. Isn't it beautiful out here? Got a mobile chute, just backing up the trailer, and then they will just roam free enjoying the grass with their horse friends. Dad is an expert truck driver slash hauler. <laughs> um, and if you want to see more stuff from him, this is only like his fourth or fifth time adjusting back. I'm just giving you a hard time, Dad, don't worry. I would be way worse at this than you are. <laughs> uh, if you want to see stuff from him, his YouTube channel is called Lead Farms, uh, with two A's, L-E-A-A-D. All right, now they got a pair up find their buddies. You don't really have to do much once you get them going out the gate. They're pretty smart. They can smell an open gate. You just walk out, enjoy the grass for the rest of the summer. I'm making fun of you. Okay, well that's the uh, amazing thing. First time, I, I always get this in one shot. My excuse, there's a hole right here, so every time it's going back in a straight line, it would dip and throw me off. I gotcha. Well, you look good now. You look good as a, as a bull hauler, heifer hauler. Okay, sounds good. There we go. I assume everyone knows you don't say hi to horses, you say hey. <laughs> Get it? Hey, pretty. Hey. All right, I'm realizing I didn't film it, but dad wants you guys to know that when he backed up to that shoot, he did it perfectly the first time. We loaded up a load, another load of cows and then a load of calves. And we're gonna take him that same pasture we were just in. And the calves are out to pasture. They will very soon go and meet with their moms and spend a happy summer in the grass. Look at them. Mom, where are you? Good evening, everybody. So Grant and I have something kind of cool to share with you. We are skipping dinner to show you this, so be grateful. Um, so we'll give a crop update later, but our beans are growing nicely, as you can see, right across the road from here. Um, however, there's an infestation of Japanese beetles, and they have eaten a lot of things. They ate my fruit trees, they eat weeds, they eat all sorts of things, but they've been sitting on the soybeans and destroying the leaves to the point where the beans aren't going to grow as much as they need to. Uh, they eat the leaves so they're all like skeleton looking, and then the soybean leaves can't absorb any sunlight, make food for the plant, or grow. And so he's getting the field sprayed but not with like a like ground sprayer. They're being sprayed with an airplane. It's super cool because these spray planes fly super low to the ground and take these really sharp banking turns. And it's honestly just a really fun sight to see. So that's what we're watching tonight. Look at this.
I didn't get to ride in this actual spray plane because the spray planes are only like one seaters. However, the guy who sprays our fields let me fly one of his planes uh, with him. He was in like the main pilot seat that I got to sit behind him and he let me fly for a little bit. Um, it was really, really cool. Like top 10 best experiences of my life. And so watching him fly is, it's really, really impressive. I definitely have a lot of respect for people with their pilot's licenses because I know it's not like an easy task to obtain one. So if you have one, that is incredible. I'm very impressed with you. Maybe someday when things on the farm slow down, maybe I'll get my pilot's license. What you doing? I oh, was just trying to film. Yeah, getting some drone shots. It's a little behind the scenes footage of the footage. Real time, live action happening right now. Oh, it's so cool how it goes over the pivot. What a perfect evening for this. So still, no wind. Some real behind the scenes, behind the scenes. <laughs> Two planes in action right now. <laughs> Can Grant land it? Oh, good job. Thanks, dear. Yep. I can fly planes too. Just be the <laughs> small ones. All right, so here's what a Japanese beetle looks like. Looks harmless enough, right? All right, maybe just the one of them. However, when a whole swarm of them gets going, this is what happens. They just destroy plants. So uh, it's time to wave bye-bye on that field at least. They just happen to really like soybeans. And for some reason when, I don't know, they just take over a plant and then more and more come and they move the next plant. And then mm -hmm. plant. They'll, they'll take, destroy whole trees. We'll show you a tree in a little bit, but it's, it's pretty bad and it's it's kind of devastating honestly well i mean like obviously this is a weed but it's definitely not coming out of that all right time for a little crop update so the first one we're going to be doing is corn um it's uh, grown quite a bit since the last time i showed it to you I and you're stood by a short one there see this one's fully tasseled these ones will even get taller yeah so I, it's still got a, probably a good eight inches to a foot to go but it's definitely, definitely getting there. Um, look at this, look at this. The baby corns are growing. Look at that. And they're silking out. So that one doesn't have much, but this one here, look at this one. All these silks, they're 
kind of like sticky or they stick together at least but they're kind of, they've got like a grippy feeling to them and so the pollen up here you see this how they're kind of like hanging off so they're gonna get dustier and then the wind will come along and and fall on the silks and each of these silks is attached to a different kernel of corn or what will be corn and so the pollen will fall oh look at that and pollinate the silks and then our ear of corn will really start to develop corn is self-pollinating doesn't it i mean bees and other stuff can still help but it's mostly just wind mm -hmm. i was going to say look at this so in planting season, do you remember how we were talking about all the time, like how important it was to get your spacing right? So you want uh, each kernel of corn to be planted an exact amount of inches apart. And this is why. So this seed, this one right here, was dropped right next to this one. And look at how small it is. So if this seed had been planted like four inches back, it would be just as big as this one from this one. But because it's just a little bit too close and it can't get as much nutrients. Look at that. I'm taller than it. It's small. Just thought that was interesting. So, corn is growing along nicely. Since it's starting to tassel, it's starting to need um, a lot more water or it's a lot more important that it get its water on time. And so, irrigation has become much more important. Okay, now here's our soybean update. Honestly, I feel like I don't know that much about soybeans. I feel like I know a little bit more about corn. Um, but look down, you can see all the little stems where they were planted. And I'm looking, and all the leaves look really like, all those little leaves look good. So I don't think this field got any hail damage, did it? Uh, a little bit, but not, not so bad. Okay, I'm seeing some Japanese beetle eating, like here. You know, this plant looks kind of rough. So this, this field got sprayed several days ago. Okay. Well, I don't see so, any Japanese So this field beetles. was kind of the test. And so gotcha. it did really good. So that's why I had the other field sprayed. Okay. Like, well, I don't see any beetles. You can, see the, you can see the leftover damage from them. Yeah. But it looks like the new trifoliates that the plant's putting on, um, the little stems, they all have three leaves. See? And all these new ones here don't have any damage at all. Not a single bite taken out. So I'm guessing... Well, I don't have to guess. The spray worked. There's no Japanese beetles, which is awesome. But look at this. Look at the little purple blooms. See? Soybeans coming soon. Or the actual beans, I guess. And our weed spray did really well. There's no weeds out here either. Oh, look, here's a dead Japanese beetle. Look at them. Dead. Gross. Yeah, the weed spray did great. It's nice out here. Yeah. So now what we're waiting on for the soybeans is we're waiting for them to canopy. So that's when the plants get tall enough and bushy enough that you can't see any ground anymore. And that's when you don't have to worry about weed control as much. But they're actually really short right now. So they'll get up to be like, yeah, like yay tall. And they're so thick you can hardly walk through them. And mm -hmm. they grow together and it's pretty impressive. But they're coming along nicely. Keep your distance from that guy. Oh, that was close. Oh man, I thought he was coming towards us. Little skunk friend, slithering away. Woo! <laughs> Get saved.
wake him up from his nap? Okay, go back to sleep now. He's gonna fall off. Oh, he's looking around now. He's like, what in the world just I've happened? Honestly, never seen one of those in a field. <laughs> Me either. Do more beetle damage. Look at this. Hmm. We got him back good, though. Look. Dead. <laughs> good job, Grant. <laughs> Right now. Oh, I, oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> uh, we're going to get a few more fields signed up to be sprayed for Japanese Holy beetles cow. and then some uh, fungicide for the corn. Non stop excitement and skill around here. Uh, they got kind of um, uh, woken up to a phone call. This is kind of a no-no. You're not supposed to be doing this. Um, the end gun should be shut off. It's supposed to shut off automatically when it gets to a certain point in the field, like right there, and then the end gun won't shoot on the road. But for some reason, that didn't work. Or maybe the pivot is just running it so much, like there's so much pressure that the end gun can't turn off. But anyways, it's totally on the road. And I fixed the last one, which means Grant is suiting up it's his job to take care of this one. <laughs> Into the storm he goes. It looks wet. And climbing up that little ladder. And I'm pretty sure all he has to do is just plug in like a little pressure valve. Oh yeah, there you go. See that hose he's, he's holding? He just plugs it in. And... Oh, he's laughing. He must be struggling. Hey, look at that. No more end gun on the road. Good job, Grant. <laughs> All right. So uh, again, kind of like the last video, this video is a big like kind of compilation of a lot of days and a lot of different things. I just want to keep things exciting and interesting for you guys. And uh, there's just always a ton going on at the farm. So much to share. So I appreciate you watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe and... We will see you next time. <laughs> Bye. The walk of shame. That'll wake you up in the morning. <laughs> Are you dry underneath? <laughs> so we got a, like a, the tiniest little bit of rain last night. Just enough that his rain suit that was sitting in the back of his pickup got wet. <laughs> uh, let's check it out. Hey. Not too shabby. That water is really cold. I, I believe it. <laughs>